Hello and welcome to the Aviation Level 100 channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have an idea or a scenario or another tutorial idea for a future video, leave a comment below. Hope you enjoy. First of all, you will want to open your Internet Explorer or Firefox or Google Chrome, whatever you are using. And the site I'll be using today will be www flightsim.com or you can go on to simviation.com and another site as well. With Flightsim you have to have an account, it's free, just get an account, you can download everything you want, that will be on here. When you get to the site, the main page, put your mouse on search and then click file library search. As you can see, you've got search only file section. You click that, and if you're using FSX, click FSX all files, FS 2004, 2002, 2098, blah blah blah. FSX all files. Oops. Now, I'm just going to get a texture for the commercial level simulations A330 300. And if you want to enter for any other aircraft, you just type the name. So it's CLS A330 200. There you go. These are all textures. Let's say the Jet Star Airways Airbus A330 a330 200. I want to read the information because some of them will actually be the model, not a repaint. Like I said, this is a reprint of Jet Star Airways on the commercial level simulation A330 200 GE and your model. Click download. I accept, start download, click that. Open. Depending on the file size, it'll take long. If it's a small file, it'll take less time. So I have to point out that it's best if you don't have flight simulator running at this point. You can exit flight simulator at sorry um, flightsim.com now. Files nearly finished. When it's finished, a window will pop up like it has now. Here's the texture. You want to drag it to your main to your desktop and accept the, the copy. You don't need this anymore. Maybe one or two more files if there is, you drag them all to your desktop. Now you want to do is open, go to all programs, computer, Acer, in this case Acer C, all programs times 86, scroll down to you find Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, and then find sim objects, airplanes. Now, for the commercial level simulations, there's for the A330 200, there's GE Pratt Whitney and Rolls Royce engines, and this is the General Electric engine, so you want to click on the General Electric. But if you're using a different aircraft add on, it should just be one. You want to open this file and there's a texture. You want to click, right click and copy and go to here and paste it into the aircraft file. And then click on the README. 
want to copy where it says flight slim xx it may be just blank and scroll down keep copying until it says description just here copy don't need this anymore or this now for some reason for the commercial level simulations you have I have to drag the aircraft file which is this here to the desktop if you if you if it's an add aircraft and add text you will not have to do this it's still the same procedures after them so what I do I just open the aircraft file as you can see I've got one texture in here already and at the end of it which is here just after, before general I want to right click paste and there you have it I've already had as, a, as I've already had one texture you for a second texture you would like to add one so you can just see this is zero and one so you can have another texture will be two another three and another four you make sure there's a space between two textures like I've just made now and a space between general which has already been done have to make sure that the numbers are one after each other. Have to make sure about that, otherwise the text will not show up. And that's all you need. You click exit, save. And for me, I have to drag the aircraft file back in. Continue. Don't need this anymore. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you have any ideas, scenarios or tutorial ideas for a future video, please leave a comment below. If you didn't understand anything, or you have any concerns, or it didn't work, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can sort you out. Again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.